welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be called the new 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 because we have a ton of new products. Okay, not a ton. Let's be real. We have like three. But I picked up some new products and I'm really super excited about them. It is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. I was really excited to try this because I um, have been following Huda for a long time and I've never actually purchased her eyeshadow palettes or anything because I was kind of waiting to see what people had to say. I heard a lot of mixed reviews, but what won me over was her personality and um, she was really talking very heavily about this foundation and the benefits that it could do for your skin and um, just the idea of catering to all different skin tones and skin types um, and just coming out with a really huge launch um, and I just love that it caters to so many different women and so many different people with different colors and skin types so um, kudos to Huda and I'm really excited I have played around with it a little bit but today you'll see more of a full in-depth tutorial and um, this is in the color Toasted Coconut 240 Neutral. And last but not least, we are going to dive into this baby, the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette, you guys. This palette is gorgeous. Um, I haven't actually put it on my eyes yet. I did a few swatches, but it is so beautiful and I couldn't be more excited and happy to try this puppy today. I love Jaclyn Hill, I love Morphe, and the color range is just phenomenal. You have a bunch of warm tones here, you have some shimmers, some foils, you have mattes, um, cool tones. I think it's just really an awesome collaboration, and um, kudos to Jaclyn. I'm so excited to play with this. So anyway, let's hop right into it, and um, let's start out with a little bit of a base. I'm going to use the NYX Honey Do Me Up Foundation Primer today, and I really like this. I've used it in previous videos, and I just feel like it gets the skin nice and tacky, so when you start to apply your foundation, it really sticks beautifully. Okay, so taking the Huda Beauty Foundation, I'm just going to pump out one pump to start, and it's pretty thick, you guys. It does have, like, a kind of... I don't know, Kat Von D-esque vibe to it initially, um, but I'm going to buff this into my skin with an IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Buffing Brush, and I have to say I tried it with a brush, and I've tried it with a beauty blender, and I think it works better with a brush, honestly. So I'm going to take this and just kind of work this into the foundation, and initially just kind of stipple it, and then buff it in. Now I heard some people talking about the fragrance of the product online and honestly I like the fragrance. I think it's really soft and soothing. It's not overpowering um, and I think it smells just classy and elegant and timeless. So I really can't say anything negative about the fragrances used in this product. It reminds me of just going to, you know, a Nordstrom and a Neiman Marcus and playing around with different fragrances and creams and just that really kind of soft, upscale, bougie smell. And the finish to me, like I said, it reminds me of that kind of Kat Von D Locket foundation vibe because it's got a little bit of a wet, tacky feeling to it but it really melts into the skin and it has like a powdery finish to it. It's hard to explain. It goes on creamy, but it definitely finishes more powdery. And the tackiness, I think you can easily work with because if you use a setting powder, that'll soak up that tackiness, but also lock your foundation in all day. 
Okay guys, so once you have that smooth on your face, now I'm going to start working towards my concealer. And one thing I've been dealing with lately, I don't know if it's the change of the seasons or what, but that's dark circles and just kind of a more like hollowed under eye look. So to brighten that and bring it forward a little bit, I'm going to use this Master Camo Pen from Maybelline. And this is the Yellow Corrector. And I love this stuff. It has a sponge tip applicator and you're just going to click it up. And I like to put this on right before I put on my concealer to really help with brightening and evening out the skin under and around my eye. I'm just going to put that on and then just go in with a Morphe G40. And this is just a really fluffy small buffing brush. And just kind of move this around. And then we're going to place our concealer on top. So for concealer today, I want to use my ColourPop concealer, and this is the color Light. Just paint this on. The light shade of this concealer does oxidize a little bit, but I like it because it has a golden kind of peachy tone to it. And for me, any type of yellow and gold are really good to help counteract some of the green and blues that I have um, in my dark circles. Using that same G40, I'm just going to buff this in slightly. Grab a mirror. I like to kind of buff it in first and then finish it with a beauty blender. I really hope that Huda Beauty releases a concealer because I know you can use their foundation as a concealer, but it would just be awesome to have like a whole range of faux filter products. Okay, now I'm going to take a beauty blender and just start bouncing that in. Very gentle. Okay guys, so now I am baking my face. I'm using my Derma Blend Translucent Powder and I'm going to be going into the Jaclyn Hill palette. Again, I cannot wait to play with this. And we're going to take the color in light, which is this really pretty soft um, kind of ice colored shade. It looks kind of warm in the palette itself, but once it's actually on the skin, it's got a nice kind of cool white cast to it. So I'm going to take that on a fluffy BH brush and just work that all over my eye from the um, lid space all the way up to the brow bone and have that be my highlight shade. Now using that same brush, I've just kind of dusted it off just a little bit and we're going to dip into the color Silk Cream. And run that through our crease and I'm working with a fluffy brush because I don't want a lot of placement with these colors I want the initial placement of these to be very soft and then we're going to work ourselves down to a tapered brush to give it more precise placement now dipping into the color MFEO on that same brush again we're just going to keep building up this crease with a little by little darker color And if you see here, I have a guide with my translucent powder. Whenever I place my guide, I try to make a nice line up to the corner of my forehead and the temple just to kind of help me with keeping my shadows in place and always making sure that everything is really lifted. I do have a bit of a hooded eye and it's downturned, so I want to make sure that everything is lifted up to even out my eyes and give them a brighter and larger appearance. Now we're going to move on to the next brush which is going to be a Sigma E40 and we're going to dip into the color Pooter. <laughs> the names on her um, palette are so crazy and adorable like Pooter and Pukey I know are two of them so we're going to dip into Pewter and this is like a mid-tone cooler kind of brown and I'm going to get a mirror out for this, but we're going to take this more tapered into the crease 
So I'm using a smaller brush, still fluffy, but just tapered down. And we're gonna be kind of buffing this back and forth. You could use circular motions just to blend it back and forth into that crease. And I will tell you, with these shadows, I'm getting a ton of pigment. Hopefully it's showing up on camera. But um, yeah, definitely a lot of color payoff. Now taking a Morphe M441 and working even deeper into the crease, more into the socket, we're going to take the color Chip from the Morphe palette with Jaclyn Hill. And we're going to start working this deeply into our crease and really carving it out and following the shape of your eye. So for me, my eyes are a little more downturned, so that means I'm going to be coming tight into this corner here. But then I'm going to start circling this onto the outer portion of the lid to start building up depth. You can even take these shadows on this brush and just kind of work it up into the other shadows that you've already placed. This way everything is nice and blended. You're just kind of circling it up towards the other colors. I'm gonna go into the color Central per Park. Park, let me get that right, because she couldn't do perk, she said. So now we're gonna dip into Central Park, which is really truly like a deep violet brown tone. And for that, I wanna work that um, on the same brush and just kind of trace my steps as to what I did with um, the chip color. But we're going to start in the outside corner because this is where I want the deepest placement of this color. And then we're going to start working it into our crease. Because there's still one more dark color after this. And then the next step I want to do is take a BH Cosmetics brush. This is the number 5 in the Pink Marble Collection. And this is definitely a more tight tapered brush and it's still in the crease family it's still in the buffing family but now we're gonna dip into that really beautiful color enchanted which is like a dark kind of really cool tone jungle green and we're gonna focus that with this brush right into the outside V here so working with that central part color we're gonna pop this color right into the V Alright, now going back in with that M441, we're just going to kind of take this color back and forth and just blend it into the other kind of mocha chip shadows that we have. Alright, so now that you have your darkest color placed, we're going to go back into our Sigma E40 and we're going to take the colors MFEO and Pooter and we're just going to go in with just a little bit of each of those colors just to blend out these darker tones and make it really soft because you don't want to take away all of the depth and the darkness, but you do want to blend it out to make sure that everything looks even want to cut out our crease just a little bit or cut out the lid I should say rather so we're gonna take any type of concealer that you have I'm gonna probably use my Tarte Shape Tape just because it's a really good full coverage concealer and it'll cut through some of these dark tones and just kind of take this on a flat eyeshadow brush and this one I believe is from Urban Decay and we're just going to cut out the um, front portion of the lid and go about three quarters of the way. So we want to leave some of this darker color here. Now using that same brush, I'm just going to dampen it with some rose water spray. And now we want to place this into that Diva color. 
so we can apply this with a little bit more moisture. This way it really sticks and adheres to the concealer and it pops the color. And you're just going to press this in. Alright, so once you have that lid color on and set, um, now I'm going to take a gel pencil. This is from LA Girl, just a jet black gel pencil. And while we're still baking underneath, I want to take this and place this right into the waterline. So we're going to gently do this right into my waterline. So now we're going to go in with just any old brush. This is a Real technique setting brush. And just start dusting away the powder that's underneath. And really swipe it nice and sharp on the edge here. So this way you're pulling all of that powder up and away from the face. And all tapered brush from BH Cosmetics. And we're going to use the colors Central Park and um, Soda Pop. And just kind of take those two browns and work them together on this brush and start tracing underneath about three quarters of the way, starting from the outside corner, moving inward. Then using that same brush, we're going to dip now into that enchanted color, which is that really deep jungle green, and place this right on top of those browns, but taking it all the way in. We're going to go back into the color Pooter and MFEO. And also we're going to dip a little bit into that color Chip. And just kind of use this to feather out the lower lash line. They're a little bit softer and lighter. So it'll just help to kind of really blend out and smoke this lower lash line out. And if you feel like you did a little too much and maybe you have some more fallout, just dip into some translucent powder and go right underneath and just swipe it out. Now we want to remove the rest of the translucent powder that's on our face. So I'm going to take a Heavenly Lux Jumbo Brush from IT Cosmetics. You guys know this is like one of my favorites. And just make sure that the rest of my translucent powder is dusted away. Taking a flattened um, highlight brush or a powder brush. I'm going to dip this into the Maybelline Fit Me um, Natural Beige Powder Foundation. This is lighter than the rest of my face, so I want to use this just to highlight underneath my eyes. So taking this flatter brush, we're just going to start pressing this right underneath the eye, down the sides of the nose here. And just almost like you're highlighting your under eye with concealer, except now we're doing it with powder. And we're placing this on top of where we place the translucent powder. So just be very gentle with this. Now we're going to go into our MAC um, Studio Fix Full Coverage Powder. And I'm going to take this on my angled BH brush, or excuse me, on an angled It Cosmetics brush. And this is going to go over the rest of the face where we've placed our foundation. And this I just kind of stipple and press really gently into my face because I already have a liquid foundation. I'm not really using this powder foundation for coverage as much as I am just to kind of lock in the liquid foundation and set it for the rest of the day. Okay guys, so now that we have our under eyes smoked out and everything's cleaned up and our powder's on, I want to take a small Sonia Kashuk brush and go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette. And now using the color Obsessed, we're going to wet this brush and place Obsessed into the inside corner of the eye. This looks like it'll be nice and bright to really pop on the inside corner. Let's go ahead and start contouring 
And to contour and speaking, you know, and staying with the Morphe family, we're going to use the Morphe 9C Contour Palette. And I am in love with this, so I'm like already starting to hit pan on it. But it's really great for light to medium skin tones. And it's got a bunch of highlighting shades and then, of course, more of your bronzing shades here. So I'm going to be working with pretty much all the bronzing shades to achieve a carved out cheekbone. underneath the jawline doing the same thing and just kind of feathering it now for up in the forehead line and down in the temples I like to use just the lighter bronzing shades because I don't like it to be too dark and unnatural in this area if I was more tan I would probably go darker but just because it's kind of like that transition into fall. I don't want to make it too, too dark and have it look too fake. Now using that flat BH brush, I'm just going to take this into these yellow colors that are in the palette here and just kind of glide this onto the high point of my cheekbone just to add a little bit more brightness. Now to blend all of this out, we're just going to take a bronzer. You can use any bronzer. I really love the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula because it's extremely creamy and it has a little bit of a sheen to it. So I'm going to take that on a Morphe B78 and just use a really fluffy kind of blush brush and just kind of warm up the cheekbones, the temples with this, the jawline. So for blush today, I want to use the Maybelline Fit Me in Nude, and it's just a really pretty soft plummy color. I really like it, and I think I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Desert Rose from MAC, so we can be in like a kind of plummy pink family today. I'm going to pop that on a Morphe M435, and just kind of take a mixture of both colors, kind of blend them out on the back of my hand. and apply them right in the apple. So for highlighter today, I wanna to use my BH Cosmetics um, Highlight and Spotlight Palette, and this has six different colors in it, ranging from some warmer tones to some cooler tones. I wanna take a mixture of Ethereal and Allure, which is this pinky tone here, and then this white tone here. So they're both kind of in the cooler family, and I wanna kind of mix them and blend them. But before we apply our highlight, I want to dampen the face a little bit, so we're going to use Rose Water Spray. Let that kind of break up some of the foundation, and then taking a Morphe B13, blend your two highlight colors together. And these are really pigmented, so just go gentle. And then find the high point of the cheekbone and just kind of circle and blend this right into your blush. Now I'm going to go off camera and work on my brows and some liquid eyeliner to kind of complete this look. And then also for mascara, I'm going to be using a mixture of the Colossal from Shayla by Maybelline and also Lash Sensational. And then we'll meet back and put our lips on together to complete this look. Okay guys, so now I magically have eyebrows and liner and mascara going. And the last thing that we have left to do is apply our lips. So for lip liner today, I'm gonna be using the color Beeper from ColourPop. And I'm almost done with this liner because it's one of my favorites. So let's start filling in with liner first. And I've already placed some ColourPop concealer on my lips to prep them since we are using a nude and I want it to kind of help just even out my skin tone and brighten this color a bit. Alright, so last but not least, we're going to top this off with the Maybelline Matte Ink and this is in the color Loyalist. So this is a little bit lighter than Beeper, but we are going to apply this just to give it a kind of 90s vibe with the darkened liner and a little bit of a lighter color in the middle.
right guys, so let's set this face so we can get ready to go. I'm going to use my Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray. Okay guys, so this is the completed look using some brand new products that I have. We use the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in the color Toasted Coconut and of course the one and only Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette. And I really, really love it. Um, I think it's awesome to kind of step away from some of the warm tones we're seeing right now and get into some cooler tones. And of course the new Maybelline Matte Ink um, lip shades. This is Loyalist. I really love this just for like your basic everyday nude and I think it looks really good with a dark cool tone smoky eye. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had a ton of fun making it for you. Please check out any information down below as to the products that I have mentioned and used. And as always, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment down below, and I'll see you guys again really soon.